Hello everyone, I'm Melinda. And I'm Melissa. Welcome to our channel, Midlifestyle Twins, where we, as twins, use our unique personalities, likes, and interests to educate, entertain, and encourage others who, like us, are managing their bodies, minds, and environments in these, the midlife years. To our faithful subscribers, we want to say thank you for your support. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. We are so glad that you're here. We invite you to check that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're made aware when new content is available. And we appreciate feedback. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave those down in the comment section below. Yes, we do read those and we try to respond to every single one of them. Now today, let me give you a quick little update on what's going on out here. We started at my house where we were going to do some videotaping for this video today, but it was noisy because it was in town. Well, we came out to this beautiful serene area where my sister lives, hoping to have some peace and quiet to videotape. That ain't happening. It is a Saturday. We got people out in the yard mowing their lawns. We got people out playing. That's okay, this is their house, this is the time to do it. Also, we have a monstrosity of a house going up next door and they have a building crew over there. They were not there earlier this morning when Melissa came to my house. So that is what we're gonna be dealing with today. So we apologize up front. You may be hearing nail guns. You may be hearing hammering and sawing going on. That's our life today. Progress. It's gonna be a nice house next door anyway, so. Okay, that's the, that's the joys of living in a neighborhood where they're building. <laughs> yeah. Today we have for you a video where we share what Melissa carries on her motorcycle with her and how she prepares, packs the trike for a trip. When we were preparing to go out of town a couple weeks ago for our little trip on the motorcycle, which did not happen because of the rain. Well, <laughs> I found out a few things about packing for a trip on a bike and especially when it's an overnight trip. I asked Melissa, how much stuff can I bring with me? And she said, probably not as much as you're used to. I kind of laughed at that one <laughs> because I never even thought about telling you how much I could bring. <laughs> and this is what she told me. Yep. This is how much space. This is a packing cube, and this is how much space I had. Now, I am a minimalist, and when I pack for a trip, <laughs> I pack pretty lightly. But I like to use an overnight bag and a carry-on bag with all my outer clothing. Well, that wasn't going to work on this trip. Now, there's a lot of room in this trike, in the tour pack and down in the trunk. But as I said in our minimalist versus right size prepping video and we will link that here. I like things not only clean, organized and clutter free, but I'm a prepper. And that means I try to anticipate things that may happen or those things that may not happen, but I want to be prepared whether I'm at home, on my in my car or on this trike. So I'm going to be having things on this trike that stay there and have taken up a lot of space in my compartments. Now for packing for a trip, there are things I consider when deciding what to take. I think about where we are going, how long we will be gone, what the weather or season, and of course, any of those emergency scenarios that I want to be prepared for. While unlikely, anything can happen and I want to be prepared. That sounds very interesting. I'm looking forward to finding out about that because I don't even have a get home bag or anything emergency in my um, car at all. So this will be very interesting to that. Yeah, and I carry things probably at a larger scale in my car as well. I've just had to work to scale it down to get everything we need on the trike so that when we go on trips, <laughs> me and my passenger have room. Room for at least, ha! You mean if you didn't do that, you wouldn't have room for this? <laughs> oh well, I'm just gonna have to learn to downsize when we go on these trips. All right, it'll be fun to learn. So let's get to this. So we're gonna start at the front of the trike. Simply, there are a, just a compartment here. This is not really storage, but I'm gonna show you. This has a battery charger 
that I'm able to charge my phone with. And if I had a smaller phone, it would fit in there, but I have the larger phone and it will not fit. So that's a compartment here on the trike. There is nothing else really. I do have a cup holder, but other than and a phone rack here. So other than that, this is the front of the trike. There isn't anything for storage. Coming back midway to the trike, I keep a pouch that I have attached to the back. And this is where I keep, if it's, um, I keep my remote to my garage door opener, my gate, co gate, and if I wanna put my glasses in here, my wallet, and anything that I want to get to quickly while I'm out on a ride. But that's empty most of the time unless I'm out on the ride. Also, if someone is riding with me, they will be able to put their phone or anything in there and carry it in that compartment. All right, so the tour pack up here, of course. What I keep in here at all times is a light jacket and my helmet. And of course, the helmet will be on when we're riding. This frees up this space, and this will be what I put my day equipment in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this out and put my jacket, because I will be putting my jacket on, my helmet on, I will put my sunglasses on, and I will put gloves on depending on the weather. If it's most summer days, I will just wear the fingerless gloves. If it's cooler, I've got different types of gloves. I've got some mid-weather, like fall gloves. In the bottom of my trike with my leather coat, I carry some really heavy gloves. But with those wonderful heated hand grips, I don't think I'm gonna need the big gloves. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, so, and then back here, this space here is what I have to put my day trip, which would be my overnight bag if I decide to take some toiletry items, my cooler, and on our trips. So Melinda's cube would be here and my cube would be on top. That's why I said, that is all you get to take with you. All right, so up here, <laughs> I know. So up here, I keep some emergency supplies, mostly so if I pull over and I need something quickly, I've got it. I have garbage bags. I have just a, a little mesh bag. This can actually go up and over. Um, this goes up over the air filter there. I found that out, what that's for. I carry tools of different sizes, just in case anything needs tightened down. I've got metric. I've got three different types of tools that I keep here. Okay. Of course, I have a set of binoculars. Now, this is not 100% necessary, but you never know. If, you're, if you have to hike out somewhere, these will be nice to have, so you can see the variety, see out farther distances. This can go on a belt loop, and that's what I would do if I ever had to hike out. But I keep them on the trike. I have a set also for my car. Um, of course, I keep bug repellent, and I keep sunscreen and hand sanitizer. Here, I just have all of my emergency man, all the manuals for the trike, and of course, my license, registration, that kind of thing. I keep some tissues and some wet wipes here in case gas decides to spill everywhere or I just need it. There is a charger in here for phone or just a regular 12 volt charger. And then I bought this charger adapter for USB and I can either charge my phone here or I have a flashlight that I keep here on the trike. And this flashlight is really good and I can plug it in to charge it. But this flashlight is really good because it can be used as a weapon if needed be. So I can carry it and protect myself. It has a strap cutter. And of course, it's also got a strobe, different lights. And I will link down below where I get this. This is from 4Patriots. 
but it has a way to charge my phone there as well. And it also has, let's turn that off, and I can't remember how to get it on, there we go, emergency, so I could set them down, it has red lights that I can set down on the fur protect, fur flare, whatever. All right, shut that off. But I leave this in the trunk. Also, if, if I have to hike out, top goes on and it is a compass. All right, and it, can, it has a cord that you put around your wrist and you can carry it that way. All right, but I usually leave that plugged in here in my trike and it's ready and plugged at all times. Now, it also is a, it is also solar powered. So this blue light means it's charging by the sun. All right, I keep of course some extra glasses because I, need readers and I usually keep them up here this is a spot for my regular sunglasses of course I keep my gloves in here in this pouch very important when you're riding if you're especially gonna be on at night I have a couple pair of night ride reading night glasses yellow because yellow help with light and uh, keeps the glare down and then just regular and you can never have enough sunglasses Although the minimalist in you, I'm sure would disagree, but I like to make sure that I am prepared and I have plenty of eye protection options. All right, now this is an awesome little feature. This is a, you put this on your finger and you're able to keep water away. You can ride on the trike with it and then just wipe your glasses. So if you have to, wipe the water off your visor or glasses. That is so awesome. I bet you can do your helmet with that too. Yep. Well, that would be mostly what I would probably use it for. But anyway, so that, those are the compartment. Oh, up here, I have some items I haven't used yet. I just got them new for Christmas. Are some, and these are very important, good. Arm covers. I know sometimes the weather can be tricky. It can be warm, but yet you want to protect your arm from the sun. That's what these are for. That's really, really good. And then I also have a neck warmer. I'm sorry, a neck cooler. You get this towel wet and you put that around your neck and it keeps you cool. It's very, very important here in South. It gets really hot in the summer. All right. Next we have, can never have enough gaiters. And these are really good for protecting against rain and wind and to keep your hair back. So that's, these are the compartments here. And again, this is all the space you have when you're traveling with two people. Now, if it's just me traveling, I have a suitcase that I can put on the back, but if I have a passenger, that's not op an option. All right, now to get down into the compartment down below. This is what it looks like on a routine basis. This is why you have no room to put anything else. All right. Wow. Yeah, so let me pull out here. First off, this is my medical bag. And again, I will share with you what's in this medical bag at a later time. So I'm gonna set that down here. Next, I'm pulling out my all important, you know what this is? Rain gear. Rain gear, yes. And this really works wonders, but I keep this on the trike at all times. Unless I'm gonna be just around town for the day and there's no anticipated rain. All right, next thing. Also, gear, this is my cool weather gear. In here, I have my leather coat and another lighter, but yet very warm coat. I have my chaps in here and I have my really thick gloves, which I think I will be taking out of here because with the heated hand grips, I don't think I will need them. But that's what I keep here. All right, next, very important, bungee cords. 
and I have several different kinds of bungee cords, including a net style. I have that green one and several others. You never know when you're gonna have to fasten something down. So, bungee cords. Next, this is a food pack and I carry extra safety equipment for protection in here. That bag. All right, now this is my get home bag. And I am so anxious to go through this with and show you, but right now, just for purposes, this has, I would just take this bag, put it around my shoulder. I have a, that medical bag can attach to this. And then I would put this bag around my waist. And that's what I would use to hike out if I should need to hike out anywhere. So there's my get home bag. Now back here, in addition to some protein bars and everything, I have five of these emergency food bars. These each, each bar has 300 calories. There's 3,600 calories in this whole pack. So this could last two or three days um, to get home. So more than likely, if I'm out on the motorcycle on a trip, I'm not gonna be by myself. So definitely very important to have several of these and they just kind of fit along the wall. And I can actually probably get a couple more in there. I just haven't yet. But that way, if we're stuck out anywhere, we've got food. I also in here, I do have water collection and I'll show you that at another time. All right, that is my trunk. Now I've had people say that I should probably lighten it up, but I think I have thought through this process multiple times. I have spent hours pulling everything out, trying to renegotiate what I'm carrying, what I'm having on the trike. And I've tried to think of those scenarios that what could happen. Right. So, so what did you think? That was very informative. I've never seen that trunk empty. I've never seen the things pulled out of it. Um, so I didn't know what was in there. So it was very informative. Now, as I saw the tour pack, I've seen it open before. And now that she has explained how she packs it and everything, now I can see why she said only one small packing cube for me. Now, if we were to go more than an overnight stay, I would also have um, the ability to put a bag on top of the rack, but you're only allowed 10 to 20 pounds maybe on that. So you've got to be really careful with the weight. Still, a majority of the things that you take needs to be into that cube when there's a passenger. Okay. So, yeah, but well, it's, it's good. Yep. Yes, and I'm looking forward to seeing what is inside each of those bags. Yes, the get home <laughs> bag and the medical bag. Very interesting. Yes, sure. I'm, again, for those of you who have asked what I carry, those of you who are my bike friends, be looking for that video. I'm looking forward to doing that. Awesome. All now right. we have an airplane going over. <laughs> Beautiful we, day out here It is though. gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, well, we should probably wrap this up and get off here because it's getting really noisy out here. All right, so until next time, everybody, take care. God bless.